If you're worried that metoprolol is causing your hair loss, that's exactly what we're going to look at in this video. We're going to look at the mechanisms behind it and why it could actually be causing your hair to fall out. Make sure to stay tuned. Hey guys, Leon here from HairGod.com, where people who are worried about their hair loss go to regrow their hair. Now, if you are new to the channel and you want updating on any of the latest hair loss news or any breakthroughs that we find out about, make sure to hit subscribe. And just before we start talking about metoprolol and how it can impact hair loss, if you're worried about your hair loss, you can click the link in the description to take the Hair Guard Hair Loss Quiz. You'll answer a few short questions about yourself and your hair loss, then you'll get receive, and then you'll receive free expert advice on how to regrow healthy hair. So make sure to click the link in the description. Now, let's get into the video on metoprolol. So how does metoprolol cause hair loss? Alopecia is a rather rare, yet rather real side effect for some people taking metoprolol. Metoprolol is the generic form of the brand name drugs uh, for Lepressa, Metoprolol Sucinate, Metoprolol Tartate and Toprolol XL. Metoprolol is a beta blocker used to treat hypertension or high blood pressure and angina, which is a chest pain and other heart related conditions. Now because hair loss is such an uncommon side effect of metoprolol, your doctor may not mention it. Some doctors may outright tell you that the medication is not to blame for your thinning hair. However, there have been studies suggesting that certain drugs, including beta blockers, may induce alopecia. WebMD and the Mayo Clinic list hair thinning as a rare side effect of metoprolol. The American Hair Loss Association also mentions that metoprolol as a drug may cause hair loss. According to eHealthMe, a website that presents a statistical analysis of drug information that are reported to the FDA, less than actually 1% of people with side effects from metoprolol experience hair loss. So how exactly does it how exactly does it cause hair loss? Well, though this information cannot be construed as concrete fact, it does seem to show a connection between hair fall and metoprolol. Now, according to the data, thinning and alopecia due to metoprolol seems to be most common among women aged 60 and above. Now, it's important that you research your medication to have an understanding of the possible side effects, even the rare ones. You know your body better than anyone, and if you feel your medication is causing you to lose hair, be firm with your doctor about looking further into it. There are two types of hair loss brought on by medication, anagen effluvium and telogen effluvium. Anagen effluvium is com commonly associated with chemotherapy or other such drugs. Telogen effluvium is the most common type of non-chemotherapy drug-induced alopecia. Drug-induced telogen effluvium causes a premature interruption of hair growth, causing the hair follicles to go into their resting phase and fall out too early. Now, noticeable shedding usually occurs two to four months after starting the medication. People experiencing telogen effluvium typically lose hair up to 30 to 70% more than normal. The severity of hair loss depends on a variety of factors, including the dosage you are on, the number of total medications you are taking, your body sensitivity to the medication, the current state of your hair follicles. So let's say that you think that metropolo is causing your hair loss. What should you do about it? Well, before we go into this, let me give you some good news. Drug induced alopecia is usually reversible. So what should you do about it? Well, the first thing is to talk to your doctor. Do not be tempted to carry out your own experiment. Stopping or lowering a medication can cause serious health problems you most certainly would want to do this under the proper supervision. Now, hair loss can be caused by a wide variety of factors. You want to make sure that you cancel out any other possible causes such as hormonal imbalances, nutritional deficiencies, or emotional stress. This way, your doctor can treat the root cause of your thinning if it is not the medication. If your doctor is unable to determine any other causes, ask him or her about the possibility of switching your medication or lowering the dosage. Again, be sure to follow the doctor's orders. It might be tempting just to stop the medication altogether, but that can cause more harm than good. Remember, drug-induced hair loss is generally reversible once the medication has ceased. Be patient and those luscious locks will be back in no time. So what should you do if the hair loss continues? Well, sometimes lowering the dose or switching medications is not an option. Alternatively, you might stop the drug, but notice your hair is still not coming back. In either of these cases, it's important to take extremely good care of the existing hair that you have while working on other methods of hair regrowth. Here's a few tips for hair care and regrowth. 
First, you want to evaluate your diet. Make sure that it includes all of the nutrients that you need for a healthy head of hair. Consider adding some tried and tested supplements to your diet. You also want to try out some natural shampoos. Avoiding uh, using products that contain harsh chemicals and instead go for all natural hair care. Just before we go any further, we've actually designed the Hair Guard Caffeine Shampoo. And this shampoo is designed to block all seven causes of hair loss. Now it's totally natural. Uh, I'll leave you a link in the description to check this out, but it's definitely worth having a look at. Now, although it is quite rare and more research needs to be done to confirm the findings, there does seem to be a link between metropolo and hair loss. The great news is, is that it is very rarely permanent. You can expect your hair to be back in all its glory within a few months of stopping the medication. But do not do this without the help of a professional. Now, if you fear metropolo is causing you to lose hair, it's recommended to consult your physician and work on lowering the doses or switching medications if possible. Be sure to take extra good care of your hair in the meantime. So guys, that's what we want to share with you on metropolo. Don't forget to click the link in the description to take the Hair God Hair Loss quiz, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks.